this is the most important cave in my world. Why? Well, I'm stuck on this survival island, so resource gathering is much harder. Luckily, the cave has infinite resources, making it the most important cave in my world. Today, I hope that we are able to build a mine shaft because I'm not actually able to mine most of this right now. As in this world, I have to make an entire build for every step of progression in the game. Like how this windmill allows me to mill wheat for bread, or this blacksmith allows me to forge iron gear, and this boat allows me to go fishing. That's right, welcome to Utopia's Survival Island. Long story short, I'm making a harder hardcore Minecraft, kind of. All this means I have to build an actual mine if I want to get my hands on any of those juicy resources below. Last episode, I found this hole that takes us further in the cave, so I'm building a sort of ladder that takes us down, and I think we can build an amazing looking mineshaft down here. Alright, we've got our mineshaft going down, and I want to gather a few resources. Now usually, I would just mine these resources and then take them back up there. Hi Creeper. But I made a change to the rules of the series, and I think we need to build an actual like mineshaft with minecarts, that can take the minecart, or, you know, take the resources up. You know, I kind of wonder what's just over here, you know? Oh boy, some monsters. Yeah, uh, as you guys know, if I do die, I lose all this stuff that I have. And at this point in editing is when I realized I had Minecraft game sounds not recording this whole video. I'm really sorry, it's a huge immersion ruiner, but it's been fixed for the next video. <laughs> Give me that bow. I want it. Oh, no. Anyways, last episode, we built this blacksmith. Unfortunately, our blacksmith villager did die, but we have some tools, where that, yeah, that we can use for this project today. Now, the ultimate goal is to make Minecraft harder, but bear in mind that everything we do here is just make-believe, like, this blacksmith doesn't actually work, even though I've chalked it up to be kind of a realistic series. The current meta with Minecraft is to get overpowered as fast as possible. So with this series, I want to change the meta and become overpowered in Minecraft as slow as possible, essentially prolonging the early game and making Minecraft a much harder, more difficult game to play. With that being said, I have three main goals for this episode. Build the mine, create a village pathway, and hopefully find our first diamonds. Okay, I'll admit I do actually have diamonds, but uh, we can't use them. See, I found these on a shipwreck. And also, the blacksmith is unable to forge diamond tools. We need something a little more special for that. Okay, I've got too much stuff. We need to move into the storage room. I've also got stuff way over there. Yeah, this has just gotta happen. Alright, and everything is moved into our storage room. Yeah, guys, we don't have that much. We got some blocks. Yeah, definitely a lot of dirt. I don't know, honestly, I thought we would have more, but I guess we have been using everything to build, so pretty good resource efficiency. Anyway, flying up here, we could build the paths to the village or like wherever we want to build it. I actually haven't figured that out yet, but I think I want to build the mine. Yeah, so obviously mining with iron pickaxes and stone pickaxes it's gonna take a while to dig this out, and if I'm honest, I don't really want to go that far because I want to make it deeper, but mm, that might have to wait. But it's been a fine start so far, we've got iron up there, we've got a little iron in here, and yeah, resources are coming in, so this is a pretty good spot, but we're definitely gonna have to dig down a little more if we want to get some of the good resources like diamonds. Alright, so let me show you what I've got going on here. I think I want to do something with bamboo to keep with the theme. Uh, that we got going on up at the top. But if you're wondering, I dug this thing out so wide because I think uh, having a wide mineshaft just looks cooler. Yeah, it's a lot more work, but in the long run, it's definitely gonna work. And then we just add the arch like this, and I think we got ourselves, that's kind of the shape I wanna go for. Yeah, perfect. Then adding just a few details, oh, not like that. Topping it off with little jungle wood. And okay, how does that look? Yeah, I definitely like the feeling of that. I like the colors a lot as well. Even better, why not add some fletching tables like this? They're a really close color to bamboo, and yeah, I like that. Well, I think I'm going to continue that pattern down until my pickaxe breaks or we run out of bamboo wood, so let's just see how far we can go. Okay, that's cool, and I knew this would take a long time, but I did not expect that a few pillars of wood would take 30 minutes. That doesn't seem like a long time, but I mean, imagine if this thing stretches a long ways, and yeah, it's safe to say that I'm a little scared, guys. I do know that we ran out of resources, and we also need a way to get our resources up there. So what about minecart chests? 
Now what I'm thinking is pretty simple, but probably large scale, and we need some sort of pathway to get this thing up here. And you know, I'd say probably when we get the minecart about here, that is, uh, you know, that's feasible. We can bring that to the blacksmith then. Uh, what I do know is uh, I gotta go chop some trees. Yeah guys, the grind just does not stop. When working with such bad tools, I just gotta go back and forth all the time. Okay, well, that took a while, uh, not gonna lie, but that's gonna probably be just a theme with this series and with this episode in particular, um, but luckily this should be really easy to build. Yeah, something a little like that, and I'll turn up the gamma just in case you guys can't see, but yeah, I mean, it's really simple, and we're just gonna bring it all the way up here, and then probably turn left up the lush cave to our entrance over there. Wow, super fast time lapse, cool transition. All right, guys, so it is built, but you might notice there's a key um, item missing on this that's not nice. Yeah, go away. There's uh, there's rails. We need rails, and they're missing on here. But um, the only iron we have currently is iron down here. <laughs> As you can see, we have only 34 raw iron, and uh, yeah, we, we need to make rails to go up. But we can't use the iron down here, because in order to transport it, we need the rail. So besides getting a new food source, uh, yeah, we need to go find iron above the surface. I'm thinking shipwrecks are going to be the way to go. All right, guys, let's set sail in our ship and go find us some resources. Okay, use your imagination. The ship doesn't actually sail, but once again, this series brings up challenges that I simply would never expect. And come on, iron. Yes, beautiful. Wow, we've got so many armor trims. That was a great first shipwreck. Okay, buried treasure. Nice. Iron, diamonds. Look at that. Beautiful. Come on, something good. A wooden hoe, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, another wooden hoe? Wow. Oh my god! The iron- wow! Wow, we almost have enough, I think! Why, hello there! Oh yeah! Another wooden hoe. You gotta be kidding me. Another wooden hoe! You've gotta be kidding me. Well, well, if it isn't the mangrove swamp, this is one of the last wood types I think we need to bring back to Utopia, so that's awesome. It's a good thing I brought my shears. Wait, <laughs> what? Oh, there we go. I guess I just have to find the fully grown ones. Guys, I just realized I despise gathering mud, and now we have a spot to gather it manually. Like, this is so awesome. Last episode, guys, I swear it took me like just 30 minutes to get mud for the roofs alone. Like, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Look at that weird generation. In other news, we got a shipwreck, but that... That is weird. <laughs> that is cool looking. All right, shipwreck buddy, come on, have some iron for me. Yes, that's that is great. That is really good. Awesome. Just one more buried treasure map, and then I think we're ready to head back. Hmm, a random block sticking up. I think I know it's under this. Is it treasure? That's right. Oh my gosh, look at this. We got over a stack. Oh my god, that is such a good chest. You know, usually I just get excited about Hearts of the Sea and Treasure Chests, but in this series, these are kind of like useless right now. <laughs> so, uh, pretty awesome. I love the way this game progresses. Making things in this world is so challenging, but let me tell you, it makes every bit of progression so, so satisfying. Now that we have this iron, we can get almost anything we want from the cave. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. That is not kind. And all that just from our shipwrecks. That is pretty awesome. Are you kidding me? Another one? You need me to come down there as well? Okay. Yeah, no big deal. No big deal. Uh-huh. Oh my god. Oh my god. He dropped it. And we got ourselves a trident. Let's go. Okay, so what are we waiting for? Let's get these things placed down. Alright, and let's take a ride. We. So now, my friends, what we can do is just send all this up. Bye. Have fun, and I'll see you at the top. <laughs> oh, well, that's probably not a good sign. <laughs> all right, and let's send ourselves in the minecart chest up, and hopefully we make it to the top now that we've reinstalled some powered rails. Um, that could be a problem. Wait, this is really cursed. 
<laughs> I didn't know this could happen. Hmm. <laughs> Anywho, we have our minecart chest full of stuff that now we can take back to our base, which is awesome because if we ever want to expand this village, yeah, we're gonna need more blocks from down there. Speaking of expanding the village, why don't we get started on building some of the pathways? But yeah, I mean, unfortunately, building the pathways involves cutting down trees because I want to expand out this way. So yeah, we're gonna need to break some trees. The mine is definitely not finished, but we're gonna get to that. I also crafted a bunch of shears using our new iron ingots and broke some of the leaves because we're definitely gonna need this in the future. Well, you know, I didn't expect that to take two hours, but it did, and here we are. Uh, just a nice 72 axes have been broken in this world. Yeah, I, I, think I, I think I went through like 20, 25, something like that, but we got a lot of wood, which is nice. You can do the math. I mean, what? There's 131 durability. Okay, it's actually more like 14 if you do the math. Never mind. But um, you know what? It still felt like a long time. And it was a long time because it was two hours. Anyways, now that it's cleared out, we can start building the village pathways. And I'm going to hop in free cam one more time just really quickly. And yeah, we got the village down here, right? And we're probably going to expand out this way, maybe a little this way. And I'm going to keep this island blank for future projects. But this whole area, I kind of want to just dedicate to the village to everything we might do with a village. I don't know what we're going to do yet. Okay, but before we do anything, I want to jot out some of the buildings I want to put out here. Just put them on signs so we have an idea. All right, so check it out. We got the redstone refinery, the stone mason. I want two farmer houses, one for crops and one for animals. And we got, I want to build a miniature monastery. Uh, just something kind of up on the top I think would look really awesome. A boat builder, obviously on the riverside. Same with the fishermen. I want a cartographer in there as we explore more of the world. Um, and obviously, you gotta have a restaurant with a master chef. I mean, come on. Uh, yeah, farmland, we're definitely need more of that. I mean, the food situation is really not great. Um, and a nether portal. That is gonna be huge. I don't have an idea for that yet, but that's gonna be important. And then a minekeeper. Our mine entrance is right over thereabouts, and I hope we can build something near there. Um, to, whoops, <laughs> to kind of welcome people into the mine and make it a little safer. And it's kind of my excuse to get more villagers because villagers are overpowered in Minecraft, uh, but it's no easy task to build an entire village, so I guess it kind of makes sense and balances out, right? Okay, let's start building some pathways, some outlines at least, and then I gotta show you guys something pretty cool I found while chopping trees. And as you see me build this outline, you'll notice these diorite pillars, and that's just me marking out where I want to build structures, with the rough height being how tall I'll make them. You know, I thought I was going to be using all these shovels to like build the paths out, but no, that's not happening anymore. I don't think so. No, that's just going to take way too long, and the point of this episode is like a side project. We gotta build the mine. Speaking of side projects, I had a little uh, thing that I wanted to show you guys. So as I was digging out the trees, I found a couple caves and I, yeah, this one in particular really piqued my interest. After crafting like 10 uh, things of shears, it would be really nice if we could uh, replenish with a bit of iron in here, maybe? Through the vines. Oh, this is cool. Wow, look at this. This is pretty awesome. Oh, there's even more down there. Wow, this is actually a pretty awesome spot. <laughs> Maybe we should build something down here. I'll consider it with our village because it kind of connects, like, almost perfectly. Man, it looks like there's just some measly coal down here. That's a bummer. Two more spots to check out. Hmm. It just comes out to the same, yeah, the same area. Okay. All right, and then there's this thing, which is kind of interesting. There's some magma here. I don't really know if there's going to be anything cool. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is pretty cool, actually. There's a water ravine, all these fish in here, it's pretty cool. I think we'll have to keep that in mind for future projects. Alright, it's time to head back into the mines. Firstly, I wanted to spruce up the front part of the mine and make it look a little more official. And I needed just a little bit of deep slate, so I lit up the nearby cave to see if I could find any. Luckily, I did find what I was looking for, and we could get back to the mine and detail this place to our heart's content. I think it looks pretty awesome. Oh man, that looks so much better. I'm in love with this. Oh, and little disclaimer, I realized I was recording my game wrong for like a, a while, and so you couldn't see my heart bar. Sorry about that, but I fixed it. Anyway, the entrance looks cool, but once you come inside, y you got like these walls that are really, really sad. So I think we should fix that. And what we're gonna do is we're kind of just gonna keep the same theme, you know, bring in that lush, mossy feeling and just 
bring it up the wall and maybe add a little bamboo detailing. Hello, surprise iron. We obviously wanted to keep this very simple because, um, you know, it goes on for a long time. And so if it's really complicated, I'm not going to want to build it. <laughs> Oh, some more surprise lapis. Something a little like that. I kind of just want it to feel very ramshackly supported. I don't like this hole here. We're going to cover this. There we go. I love it. It looks perfect. And then we can just continue that on down here, making slight variations. It takes a little time, but it's kind of fun. And you know what? Technically, this thing is finished, so we can check that off the list, which leaves only one more goal to do this episode and that is to find diamonds. Now you know what, I'd love to continue our mine down here, although it's not a great level for getting diamonds, I'd, I'm willing to uh, take my chances, but we need to get more food. Like, I am down to an apple and nine melon slices. That's a problem. <laughs> okay, I've got lots of wheat so we can craft bread, but I kinda wanna save my wheat. I think we could use it for building, <laughs> and that's obviously my priority. So. We're going on a cookie diet. Well, that was a really easy food solution. I guess I'm gonna continue building the mine until I get bored of it, so let's go. And although this may not look like a lot of progress we're making, this is like three hours of building. You gotta remember that this is all built using mostly stone tools, not to mention the resource gathering. It's really hard to convey the difficulty of this series, but trust me, it really is difficult. Man, oh man, I just had to turn on the shaders. Look at this. This is so beautiful. This is probably one of my favorite mines I've built. It's just so cool. It's just so cozy. And you know, generally you don't associate mines with like being cozy, but uh, here we are. Anyway, the problem we're having here is that uh, we still haven't found diamonds. And honestly, I could keep digging this out, but it could take me like thousands of blocks. So I got to use my time a little wiser. Okay, we're going to dig into here and I'm going to start making a bit of a shaft going down. All right, guys, so here is our hole. I'm going to start digging it down here, and I would do something fancy like we did with that little mine shaft we did in the intro, but I think I'm just going to make a staircase down. Like, I'm, I'm kind of over this project. I want to move on to other stuff. And, you know, I want this over, but still, I'm kind of just hoping and praying that we find uh, diamonds as we're mining this, or we find diamonds when we reach, like, deep slate level. <laughs> it's a gamble for sure, but it's kind of the best option I have if we want to complete our goals for this episode. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Today is a good day. Look at that. We've done it. We found diamonds. I, I haven't even dug this down like that much. They're right here. Although I am really glad because mining deep slate, look how long this takes with a stone pickaxe. Please no. Well, this is kind of weird. I didn't expect the video to end this soon, but I told myself once I found diamonds, the video would end. So there we go. We've completed our last goal. And I guess that concludes this episode. I'm totally going to come back and redecorate this more and probably dig it out even more. But for now, we completed our goal and I'm satisfied. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And uh, yeah, we got a lot done from building the mine to building out the village pathways. And then we found diamonds. It was pretty awesome. <laughs> but yeah, this island is massive and we've got so many projects here to come in the future. So thank you. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.